Okay, so did you want to do an intro? Uh, hello. Welcome to the Virtual Cabin. I'm Chuck Brengart, CEO of Ilphonic, and we are the developers behind Friday the 13th, the game, which you are currently playing now. Is there anything you want to say to the fans? Sure. I just want to say thanks for playing and supporting the game. Our fan base has been incredible. This project has exceeded even our wildest dreams, and that's because of all your continued and amazing support. So where are we? So this is the Virtual Cabin. 2.0 to be exact. The virtual cabin was a way for our backers to check out new art assets and discover a few hidden Easter eggs as we were building the game. It was a really engaging way to show a sneak peek at what we were developing. So, why bring it back? A ton of work went into researching the Friday the 13 films for the game, and we wanted to present a fun way to go behind the scenes and learn more about how the movies and the game were made. Consider this as an expanded virtual museum, a space where you can explore the lore of Friday the 13th and take it all in. Who knows, there might even be a few new Easter eggs to discover. If you go digging deep enough. <clears throat> Sorry, I didn't mean for that to sound so ominous. part about working on the game oh for sure the phone calls okay sorry um that was great can you start over but this time incorporate the question into your answer uh, my bad yeah so the creepiest part about working on this game was i get these weird phone calls to my personal phone we worked on the game for almost uh, i think it was about three years and every single friday the 13th we would get these calls from someone at first i thought it was someone at the studio Paul or Dan or something, but it had to be like an F-13 fanboy or something. They would use this voice distortion and claim to be Pamela warning us to honor the memory of her son. Sometimes they would just laugh in the phone and hang up, but, but most of the times they would just, you know, complain about the game taking so long. That doesn't sound that creepy. It wasn't until one time I called the number back and heard this. 